We're back on Access Carolina. Your kids would probably agree it's always a good time to get a happy meal from McDonald's. And this week, that is especially true. That's especially the case. McKenna Best is here from Ronald McDonald House Charities, along with Brooks Whittington, a local McDonald's owner operator. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So it's a fun week ahead. Um, Brooks, happy meals for the house is underway. Um, tell us about how it works. It is. So we're a day into it already, mm -hmm. and uh, this entire week, uh, McDonald's is going to be giving 10% of the Happy Meal sales right back to the house and uh, we'll get some money to the house and help some families that are going through a pretty difficult time. And so, so this week the kids in the car going, please, can we stop and get McDonald's? That's, They've got a little bit extra ammo. It, to get it's not to just yes. kids. We, we sell a lot of Happy Meals to yep. adults too. So the, the more Happy Meals we sell, the, the more money the house gets and uh, it's, it's a great thing all around. It's a great thing. I said that four-piece nugget is the best meal for yeah. anybody anyway. Um, Happy Meals um, right in front of us. We've got these the boxes here, a couple of toys. Right. Remind us the nostalgia of, of getting a Happy Meal for, for a child <laughs> or a grown-up. So uh, it just, it's a smile. It puts yep. a smile on your face. Um, you, you get a little toy with it. Um, and the added bonus this week is that uh, you, you get to help out the house. And it's... Uh, yeah. Feels good. Yeah, feel, makes everyone feel good. Uh, McKenna, through uh, Ronald McDonald House Charities, you know, supporting families around the world, providing overnight stays near the hospitals where kids are receiving care. So this mission, you know, everybody wants to support this. Um, it really allows the family to focus on what matters. Talk mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, so the house really just aims to alleviate any of the burdens that families who have a child who, is, who are sick or injured um, are going through. So, um, you know, the financial burdens, the logistical burdens, even the emotional burdens, um, the house exists just to hopefully ease some of those things for yeah. the families. Because you, you love to imagine, here's a video of some of the local uh, facilities, but you just want the family to be able to focus on what matters. You want mm -hmm. them beside their kid, not going, oh no, where are we going to stay? Oh no, how much is this other thing going to cost? Exactly. What do I have going on yep. with travel? Mm -hmm. um, and you're really changing people's lives this way. I mean, the, mm -hmm. uh, the situation that could be the worst is made you know, manageable? Yeah, absolutely. So the house provides meals each night, um, homemade cookies each day, laundry services, and just a place to rest and recharge yeah. so that they can be able to support their and, children. And down to that cookie, it's just the, it's not like a hotel stay. It's with people who understand you're going through something. It's people who are wanting to make sure you're comfortable at, as if you were at home. Exactly. Um, exactly. Ronald McDonald House Charities also helps with medical care and resources. Anything else about the impact that, that's made here? Yeah, I think just the emotional aspect of, like mm -hmm. you said, knowing that the people who are staying there with you know what you're going through, and you ha you're there with a staff who cares about you and is there to serve yeah. you the best they can. And Brooks, I know it's something you're passionate about too. You're proud to be part of this. Uh, right. Which McDonald's is yours? So I own two in the Greenville market, and then I own three in Greenwood, South Carolina. And then I'm also lucky enough to uh, serve on the local board at the uh, house in Greenville. Yeah, so. I mean, w once you're this involved and you see the impact it makes, I'm sure it's yeah. something that and you it, just want um, to support. Once you get at the house and you, you start cooking for the families and meeting the parents and uh, talking with the kids, uh, it, it certainly has a, a different meaning in your life. So it, it's an incredible place. Yeah, I'm sure out of all the things you can put energy into, you know this is something that, that truly, you know, yeah. makes a difference for it, people. It, it's an easy decision. All right, so this is an easy decision too. What should we make for dinner this week? Go grab a Happy Meal and uh Happy Meals instead. for lunch and dinner. All right, I like it. McKenna Brooks, glad to have you here. Thank you very much. And it's going to be an excellent campaign. Happy Meals for the House through April 26th. 10% of all Happy Meal sales will be donated back to local Ronald McDonald House Charities chapters. And